Hi, part two of the third party video I just did. So I got mostly good energy. I got that, um, so for, the, for those of you that just watched that video, it's mostly good energy. I got that the masculines have stood up to the karmic. There was some kind of explosive argument or there's about to be. Some of them are having this explosive argument when Mercury retrograde comes in. But the mask one just said something so harsh and so direct to the karmic that there's no coming back from it. Like the karmic knows it's over. She feels humiliated. There's no more denial. Um, so the so the mask ones are doing well. They're finally standing up to them for themselves. Some of them have just moved into new living situations, um, or some of them are staying in hotels. Like a lot of them just packed up and were like, I'm I like they just had like an explosive argument and really put the karmic in their place and said, you, you know, called her out on all the crap she's done over the years or the months. And um, yeah, a lot of them are, are, you know, living somewhere else now. They're protecting themselves. They're, they're using their intuition. They're, um, you know, they're in this hermit phase. That's what I was saying in the last video. They're kind of in hermit mode right now where they're really um, doing some soul searching, kind of in limbo, just kind of planning their next steps, just taking a moment to breathe and heal and just enjoy some peace and quiet for a change. But um, but I do have a I do have an energy update for just for a few people. I was kind of hesitant about putting this out there because I know when you've been cheated on, it's it's difficult because sometimes you just feel like you're you know, it scares you and it makes you think that everyone's gonna do that to you. You know I understand that. So I was you know hesitant to put this out there because a couple days ago I got that some of these masculines are actually not being loyal to the divine feminines and it's really sad because the other video I just did is so uplifting it's so positive like the divine feminines are so proud of the masculines right now because the masculines are finally like finally started to the karmic finally moved out of that living situation you know, finally speaking their truth, being assertive, being bold, being the king of swords. So it's a really beautiful energy. And this could apply to, um, to you know, male, male, female, female, uh, or whatever else, you know, take it as it resonates. It's it's just energies. It's not it's not gender specific or anything. But um, but anyway, it, yeah, it's really sad that I, I hate that I got this update because it's like, that other energy is so beautiful. It's like they finally stood up to the karmic. They finally moved out. Like they moved in with a friend or they moved in, moved somewhere by themselves or they're at a hotel. Like many of them, or they're about to be, some of them, this is coming in during Mercury retrograde. So it's like, you just kind of got to sit back and, and, you know, just, just, just relax and, and let it all play out. Like it's, it's all, it's all happening. You know what I mean? Like this is all playing out for you guys. But, um, yeah, it's really upsetting because that energy update was so positive. It was like the Divine Feminine is just so proud of him. Like she's seeing him in this very like masculine energy where he's not, you know, he's not being a pushover. He's not being naive. He's, you know, finally being strong and being assertive and being courageous and, you know, trusting his Divine Feminine. That's such a turn on that he's finally you know, trusting his divine feminine and trusting his intuition and he's protecting himself and he's standing up for himself from a safe distance. You know, like I said, a lot of you masculines have to get to a safe place before you stand up to the karmic. You have to get, you know, you have to get someplace safe. You have to uh, maybe do so from a distance, like write her a letter or call her after you're, you know, living somewhere else. Because a lot of these karmics are crazy and abusive. But, um, but anyway, yeah, it's just, it sucks because that energy update was so positive. It's like, he's being masculine. He's being, um, brave. He's being strong. He's being assertive. He's being honest with himself. Finally, he's taking the blindfold off. He's, you know, he's just being so courageous. He's seeing the truth and he's trusting his divine feminine's guidance. He's trusting his intuition too, and trusting his spirit guides, you know, like he's listening. Finally, he's being humble. So it's such a, it's such a sexy energy. It's so good. But I got a really sad update, unfortunately. And this is just for some. So I just want to put that out there that if this is not resonating with you, this is okay. So like the third party energy uh, updates that I do, these are for everyone in this in this energy group. But this specific reading right here that I'm about to do is just for a few people in this energy group. And I'm sorry, um, you know, because I, like I said, I don't want to upset anybody. Um and it's not like the worst energy ever. Don't panic. But I just want to say, like, if you've been cheated on a lot, don't let your fears 
come into play here. Like this is, you would know if this is yours. If this specific message for a few people in this energy group is yours, you're going to know. Like, I think it's something you would have already felt like you would have already known about that somehow, like had dreams about it or had, I don't know. Well, I don't want to say had dreams about it because sometimes, you know, your dreams can almost, I mean, with the karmic involved, sometimes like dreams can be misleading because, you know, with all the energy she's sending out, I feel like sometimes, you know, it's hard to say, you know, to trust your dreams at a time like this, but, um, but anyway, yeah, you'll know. But the energy update I got, so a couple days ago, it's really upsetting. I felt that some of these masculines are, so like I said, they're kind of in limbo. Like they're in like this hermit energy where they're like kind of enjoying being single and they're um, enjoying some peace and quiet. Like they're just so thankful to finally be free of the karmic and finally just have, you know, a whole day, a whole two days without being yelled at, without dealing with drama, without you know, dealing with like the, what are we, when are you going to be with me questions from the karmic, you know, um, some of them are just enjoying the silence and some of them are upset over the divine feminine. And it's really sad because it's like, they're doing it to themselves. You know, like the divine feminine is right there, right in front of their face. They have the opportunity at any moment to message her. And it's like every day they, they choose not to, they choose to choose fear over love every day and it's really sad it's a real turnoff for a lot of these divine feminines that the masculine keeps choosing fear over love that you know it's like you could have a start you have your ten of cups you have true love you have family abundance you have everything with your divine feminine right in front of your face and it's like a lot of these masculines are still choosing to just be afraid and to sabotage and it's really sad because not only are they hurting themselves, but they're also hurting their divine feminine who's, you know, waiting for them and who's open to them, who wants that future with them. So it's a, it's a really upsetting energy that these masculines get so stuck in their head and they don't realize that they could have true love like tonight, you know, like they could have that abundance. They could have that that deep conversation with their divine feminine that leads to, you know, reconciliation, that leads to happiness, that leads to marriage eventually. They could have it all. But some of them are just getting in there in this hermit energy. And so, yes, they're being introspective, but some of them are getting stuck in their head. I also got that some of them are assuming that the divine feminine has moved on, even though she hasn't. But they just some of them just are so insecure that they just assume that the feminine has moved on or some of them are assuming that the feminine is with someone else. Some of you might have tried, so some of you, like, if you're, you're a divine feminine watching, some of you might have tried to make the masculine jealous, and it might have backfired a little bit, where it's like they saw, like, pictures on, like, Facebook or some kind of social media, and they got jealous, but, like, it kind of, you know, like, you were hoping it would make them reach out, but instead it had the opposite effect, where they just, you know, kind of shut down, and it's like, I hate to say it, but it's like, you know what? They, these masculines need to reach out. They need to grow up here and reach out for real. Um, because I always say, like, a man that wants you will not put himself in a position to lose you, you know? And so I'm just reiterating the energy. I'm telling you guys what I feel. I'm telling you guys that these masculines are scared. I can feel their energy. I'm not saying it's justified, though. I don't, I don't think that it's justified. I think that no matter how scared someone is, I think that if they... If you truly love someone, it seems like you would make an effort, especially if the masculine was the one to leave you, then it's kind of like the ball is in his court to open up communication, you know? So I just want to put that out there that I'm not trying to justify this behavior. I, I don't think it's okay. I think it's incredibly disappointing that so many of these masculines will not make a move. It's it's such a turnoff for the feminines. I don't think they even realize it. So many of them mean they need to make a move, you know, they need to do something towards a divine feminine. Um because like I said, like you know, some of them are afraid of losing the divine feminine and it's like they don't, you know, the masculines don't need to be afraid of losing the divine feminine. This is a this is a destined connection. This is true love. What they do need to be afraid of is how is the divine feminine going to look at them when they come back? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll give you a chance in a month from now, two months from now. Of course I will, because you're my person. You're my true love. You're the person I want to grow old with. But, you know, me giving you a chance and being open and, and being with you with you again doesn't mean that I'm going to see you the same way. It doesn't mean that I'm going to see you as a real man still. It might be like a whole, you might have a lot of work to do to get her respect back is what I'm saying. 
You know what I mean? So it's like, don't dig yourself into a hole, like make things better now. Because if you wait too long, it's like, yeah, of course, she'll take you back and she'll love you and she'll be with you. But she won't trust you. That vulnerability that you had with her where she just, you know, fell asleep in your arms and you could just tell that she just thought the world of you and just felt so safe and so protected. You'll get you'll you'll notice the energy difference where it's like you guys are cuddling and she doesn't feel that anymore. She doesn't feel safe. She doesn't feel protected. She doesn't trust you. She wants to question you now. Um, you know, she does, she doesn't believe you. She doesn't believe in you. You know what I mean? It's like, don't let the feminine get to that point. You know what I mean? Like, like have the courage now to be assertive and to communicate and to work through things with her. Even just a little bit of effort goes a long way, you know, which is what these DMs need to realize. Um, because if you wait too long, like I said, it's like, yeah, she'll take you back, but she won't respect you the same way. She won't feel as safe with you. She won't trust you. That trust will be broken for good. And not, or not for good. I mean, that, that trust will be broken completely. It's like you could probably rebuild that trust over time. But do you really want to do that to her? Do you really want to go through that? Or do you want to just message her now and work through things with her now? And you know what I mean? And, and get to that good point together. Like, do you really want to wait until her trust is broken to come back? It's like, yeah, she'll accept you back. She'll be with you again. She'll love you. But she'll be scared. She'll be she'll be the one sabotaging. She'll be the one with trust issues. You know? Like, why do that? Why not just come back early on and not have to not let it get to that point, you know? Um... Because a lot of the DFs still do have trust and faith, but they're losing hope. You know, a lot of the divine feminines are like, they still have that faith. They still have that hope. They, they're they still praying and, and hoping for this reconciliation. They're still trying to manifest this reconciliation. But a lot of the divine feminines are really starting to just feel heartbroken and feel like, like just losing trust and losing faith in the masculines. And the energy update I got was just, oh, sorry. So let me get to it. Sometimes when I channel it, just it all comes out. And I know it's kind of a jumbled mess sometimes. But the energy update I got was some of these masculines are in limbo. And they're, they're being big babies and not wanting to reach out. And they're, um, it's sad. It's just so upsetting because it's like, they have the choice every day to do things differently. You know what I mean? To like show the divine feminine that she's loved and supported and wanted. And every day they choose to let her not think that. You know, every day they choose to like put their own feelings above hers. You know, to, to think about their own fears, their own insecurities, instead of considering that the divine feminine is probably afraid, she's probably upset, she's probably heartbroken, she's probably insecure, she's probably wondering, you know, did this man ever even love me? Like, she's probably confused, so it's like, you know, a lot of these DMs really need to, to start considering the the, the, def the feminine's feelings a lot more. Um... But anyway, some of them, so some of these masculines, and again, this is just for a few. This isn't for everybody in this energy group, but some of them, I got this energy a couple days ago where some of these masculines are like going to strip clubs or they're sexting someone or they're, um, they're part, some of them are partying a lot. And it's just really sad because it's like, they're feeling upset and confused and they're kind of in limbo where it's like, they're, you know, after like an abusive connection or relationship, you, sometimes you kind of go through those, uh, phases where it's like almost like a self-destructive phase or like a, um, like you just like things change. Like you just feel kind of lost. And it's like a lot of the masculines kind of feel that right now. Cause it's like, they're so relieved and they're so happy to be away from the karmic, but it's like some of them are just also, they're really enjoying this alone time and they're really insecure and confused about the divine feminine. So some of them are just, you know, instead of moving forward, they're basically just trying to make themselves feel better. It's like, they don't know where to go from here. Some of them have just lost jobs or they're about to lose a job. So some of them are just kind of like, what do I do next? And some of them are just trying to make themselves feel better. So they're sexting. They're going to strip clubs. Because um, I got that, I got like a sexual energy a couple days ago that I was feeling, but it like pissed me off. I was like, ooh, what is this? Like, it didn't feel good. Like, I felt like I was channeling a strong sexual energy, but it felt like cheating or it felt like, like being disloyal. And I don't, I'm not, I don't want to freak you guys out. It doesn't mean that your masculine is like, dating someone else or anything crazy like that. I mean, it could, but for most of you, I don't feel like it means that. I feel like it's more like he's trying to make himself feel better. So he went to a strip club, 
you know, or he, it's like he's looking for comfort in like these shallow connections right now with other women. Um, he feels very vulnerable, very fragile. So he doesn't feel like he can talk to the divine feminine right now, even though he does want to. I think he's working towards it, but, you know, hopefully sooner than later. Hopefully sooner than later. Um, but yeah, I got like the energy of like sexting. Like there's... What is that energy? And like I said, it's not for everybody. And you'll know if this is for you. But it's just like this energy where it's like he's like sexting someone. Where he's like... Uh... It's like he's like confused. Like he doesn't know where to go with his life now. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't know what's next for him. Even though his divine feminine is right there. His divine feminine is like waiting for him. His divine feminine is waiting to start a life with him. To to have, you know, marriage, a family, like everything with him. You know what I mean? A lot of these divine feminines are like, you know, waiting for him to, to come towards her and move in with her. You know, it's like he has that opportunity right there in front of his face. And it's almost like he's getting stuck in his head a little bit. And all these, all this energy he suppressed is coming to the surface. So it's kind of self-destructive a little bit where it's like all at once and he doesn't know how to do it, how to deal with it. I mean, it's, it's positive that it's coming to the surface finally. It's, it's positive that he's finally not suppressing this energy. It's finally coming to the surface. But it's just he suppressed it for so long that it's just so intense all at once. And he's trying to figure out how to navigate it. So a lot of them are just kind of like living, you know, moment to moment, just day by day. Like, I don't know what to do next, but... You know, like, I want to make myself feel better because I'm upset over this or over that. And so, yeah, and it sucks because it's like, it's disloyal. You know, some of them are, some of them are sexting. I keep getting sexting. Like, some of them are, like, texting someone that they're not really serious about. It's just, like, very casual, you know, not someone they love or anything, but just someone they can have friends, like, you know, have fun with. I was going to say friends with, like, someone they're friends with maybe that, like, wants them, like, sexually could be. Um, some of them are like hooking up like at bars and stuff or just having like one night stands because like I'm not getting any romantic feelings there like I'm not feeling like a deep connection or anything like that I'm just getting that they're like in this kind of sexual energy where they're just trying to make themselves feel better they're just trying to, they're just confused about where their life is going so some of them are just trying to like you know, just do whatever to make themselves feel better. And it's really frustrating because it's like, that's, that is cheating. You know what I mean? Like it is, it is disloyal, you know, and so many of you are intuitive. So it's like, if your person's doing this, you can feel it, you know, like, you know, you might forgive him for it, but it's like, you can still feel it. You're still intuitive enough to know that something's off. Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords, Three of Cups. I think I have my cards in reverse. I'm sorry. I was supposed to put those. I, I have my cards upside down. <laughs> I should have checked that before I shuffled. Okay. <laughs> the Hierophant. The Eight of Wands. The Five of Swords. The moon, the queen of wands. Lots of fire and water energy on the feminine side here. The queen of pentacles too. It's like you're all the queens pretty much. <laughs> the wheel, the five of wands. Yeah, there was a situation here with the devil card here. It's like something that was wrapped up. Something that, um, you know, there was just no communication here. This is two people that were like not, not communicating, not being open with each other. And I feel like this is like the karmic situation where it's like they're kind of both ignoring each other right now. They're not wanting each other anymore. You know, with this devil energy, it's like this chaotic, this cycle has ended with the karmic, you know. The cycle has wrapped up. I feel like this could also be that the masculine's struggling to communicate. He's struggling to, to you know, 
get past his own toxic ways of thinking, like overthinking things and sabotaging things that shouldn't be sabotaged, you know? Because his relationship with his divine feminine is very sacred. It's not something that should be sabotaged. So it's like many of them just went through, you know, with the karmic, they just went through this ten of swords. And the karmic went through it as well, where it's like this final, it's like the, um, you know, the darkest hour before the dawn. Like everything just kind of breaks down. And now it's like he's trying to have fun. He's trying to find himself. He's doing spiritual healing. Some of them are getting self-destructive, though. Some of them are drinking or some of them are... Um, you know, having one night stands or um, there, there's a warning. I keep seeing warnings about STDs too. So, you know, if you're doing that, be careful. Um, but some of the, I keep getting sexting too, which is really, it's, it's like some of them are just, it's like they, they're, they're finally free of this cycle. So they have all this energy, all this just bursting energy that they don't know what to do with. And, you know, it's like they're five of wands here, you know, about being like defensive and, um, you know, I feel like this is saying too, like, be careful. Don't do something that, you know, don't think that you're going to get away with it. Like, if you have someone waiting for you, like, if you're just on a break with someone, don't go have sex with someone else. Like, the Divine Feminine will find out about it, you know? Or if you guys are still together, but, you know, whatever the situation might be, it's like some of these masculines think that they can just have fun and just live the single life. And, you know, what the Divine Feminine can feel everything. Like, she can feel, like, if you're, cheat if you're cheating, like, she's going to feel it. She's going to see it as cheating. Um, and yeah, she might forgive you for it. She might forgive you, but it's it's not about that. It's like she forgives you. She loves you. She wants a future with you. She does know that you're her person. But we have to work. What you need to worry about is like some of these masculines are just worrying about, you know, will she give me another chance? And the answer is yes, she will give you another chance. But what you do need to worry about is how will she see you though? Like she'll give you another chance, but will she trust you? Will she feel safe with you? Will she feel completely open with you? Or is she going to start being defensive with you? Is she going to start being guarded? Is she going to start, you know, being angry and being hurt? You know what I mean? Like, don't get your divine feminine to this point for no reason. Just because you're in this, like, oh, like, I'm free now energy. Like, I'm living the single life. Like, you know, you know, kind of acting really quickly without thinking. Um, so, yeah, there's just a warning here to the DMs to be loyal, you know, to be loyal. Don't think that you're going to get away with being disloyal just because you're not, just because you're single or whatever. I mean, you're still, there's still like a loyalty if you have plans to have a future with someone, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's like someone needs to use their intuition here. And we have the moon, the queen of wands and the emperor. really interesting energy here I almost feel like God, how do I even explain this energy it's like he's looking at his person his queen of wands but he's more like defensive and she's looking at it from an intuitive perspective she's looking at this um how do I explain it he, like you see how they're like they're both looking at each other and this is kind of like the center where they meet it's like they both want the same thing. They both want the same relationship, except the divine feminine is being intuitive about it. And the masculine is kind of being in his head about it right now, where he's like assuming the worst. He's assuming he's going to be rejected. And that's not the case. You know, it's like this divine feminine is waiting for him. She's open to him. Um, some of them are cheating on you, too, because they think that you're cheating on them. Some of them, like I was saying, it like you tried to make them jealous and it backfired or they just, you know, are getting in their head and thinking that you must have moved on by now or there's probably someone else. So they're just like trying to, you know, distract themselves with other women to make themselves feel better. Um, and what they're not realizing is that, you know, you didn't cheat on them. You're not with anybody else. You don't want anybody else. You're still waiting for them. You're still open to them. Um, so a lot of these masculines really need to learn to, to listen to their intuition and not just, you know, assume worst case scenario all the time. And they can be very pessimistic. Also, DMs, like I said, I would reach out if I were you because time is not going to make things better. It's going to make things worse, actually. So I, I would really recommend reaching out if you have not already. Um, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end this, but as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. The email is right below this video in the description box. So thank you guys for watching.